So you can see the top 12 cars are to my left, your right. They do not know yet where they're going to start. So again, that's where you fans come in. We're going to remind you. When we introduce them, starting with our Burkettessa Race Cars Fast Qualifier, Trevor Berry, down to our 12th Fast Qualifier, Doug Meyer, they're going to throw a T-shirt in the stands. You have to yell out what the number is in that T-shirt, and that's where they're going to start in tonight's ninth running of the Hot Shoe 100. All drivers to the stage, please. All drivers to the stage, please. Once again, all drivers to the stage, please. All drivers to the back of the stage, please. So here's how this is going to work. So the drivers know as well. We'll start from the back of the field and work our way forward. Once again, our dignitaries for this evening. We've introduced two of them already, but they're worth, worthy of reintroduction. First and foremost, the owner and president of Owasso Speedway, Mr. Rex Wheeler. Yep. Yep. The chairman of the board of the International 500 Snowmobile Race, Mr. Rick Federo. And last but certainly not least, the co-founders and co-promoters of the Hot Shoe 100. Please, if you would, Mr. Bud Gray III and Mrs. Amy Gray. Race fans, let's meet tonight's starting lineup for the ninth running of the Hot Shoe 100. He will start 24th in the field. He is a former... Kalamazoo Clash winner, former ARCA Gold Cup Series Super Late Model Champion, the Militia Racing Products number 5, 42 years old, from Constantine, Michigan, Jeff Gannis. <laughs> Starting inside of row number 12 in the 23rd position, currently sixth place in the points, the Valley Truck Center's modified division here on Saturday nights. The high side trucking, number 559, 28 years old, from Langsburg, Michigan, Damian Lytle. <laughs> Starting outside of row number 11 in position 22, the Johnson Carbide, How Racing Enterprises, number 3, 27 years old, from right here in Ovid, Michigan, Alex Donner. <laughs> Starting inside of row number 11, Aboard the Fast Racing Designs house car. 39 years old from Clio, Michigan. The 21, Nick Clemens. <laughs> Starting outside of row number 10, one of our Buckeye State Invaders. The Custom Car Centers, Burkett Race Cars number 02. 44 years old from Maslin, Ohio, Rick Sibola. Starting inside of that row, graduate of the CRA Street Stock Series. Aboard the HRP Construction, FLF Race Cars number 68. 30 years old from Bremen, Indiana, J.J. Schaefer. 
Starting outside, a row number nine in the 18th position, our lone Canadian in the A feature event. The McGregor Plumbing and Heating left hander chassis number three, 29 years old from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada. It's BJ Marcou. <laughs> Starting inside a row number nine, the 17th position. Winner of the Midwest Modified Tour, powered by Wheeler Truck event right here at Owasso Speedway on July the 1st. The Better Buy Muffler and Brake, How Eddie Race Cars number 20, 46 years old from Lansing, Michigan, Tim Lahar. <laughs> Starting outside of row number eight, welcome back the three-time World Series of Asphalt Stock Car Racing Champion down in Florida Speed Weeks. The Eddie Performance Solutions, How Eddie Race Cars number 78, 33 years old from Midland, Michigan, Travis Eddie. Starting inside a row number eight in the 15th position. Currently sitting fourth in the Midwest Modified Tour points. Aboard the Fullerton Racing, Birkin Nestor Race Cars number 05. Originally from Melbourne, Victoria, in his native country of Australia. Now calls Howell, Michigan home. 54 years old is Greg Fullerton. <laughs> Starting outside a row number seven. One of the Northern Lower Peninsula Invaders. I believe they're more than Luca Mariano, Kentucky Straight Bourbon and Rye. Howell Racing Enterprises number one, 44 years old from Vanderbilt, Michigan, Jeremy Jaranesky. <laughs> and now we go to the inside of row number seven, the most recent winner in the Midwest Modified Stewart Anderson Speedway back on July 29th. The Jim Gray's Cottage Services, Burke and Esther Race Cars number 24, 25 years old from Petoskey, Michigan, Buddy Gray. <laughs> we now move the first through 12. And how this is going to work again, we'll introduce the drivers. They will throw the T-shirt in the air. And it's up to you. Let us know what the number is in that T-shirt. That's where that driver is starting. And we start with your fast qualifier worth a $500 bonus. Former Midwest Modified Tour champion already with two feature wins this season. The O'Connor Trucking DG Performance number 37. 30 years old from Clow, Michigan, Trevor Barry. So now Trevor will pick the shirt. That's how it's going to work. He'll pick the random shirt. He's going to throw it in the crowd. <laughs> All right. Now whoever caught it, what's the number? He got it for everybody. Number four, Trevor Berry will start outside of row number two. Your second fast qualifier, a six-time track champion in the, North, in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan as well as in, in Canada. Lost the motor yesterday in practice, put a new one in, qualified second quick. And then Mickey Sleds and Snowmobile Depot, Burke and Race Cars number seven, 47 years old from Barbo, Michigan, Josh Ware. Josh pulls out the shirt. Where are you going, Josh? He's going away. We got to go all the way out here. <laughs> all right. What is the number? What number you got? It is an eight. Josh Ware will start outside of row number four, the eighth position. Your third fast qualifier. Normally behind the wheel of the Gateway Vacations number seven, but tonight, 
The second driver in points, the Midwest Modified Tour in the Dennis Craft Construction, Brick Nestor Race Cars, number 70, 32 years old, from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Matt Dimmitt. Lots of numbers left. Matt's going this way. Man, y'all got to run all the way down here. And now we wait. Dramatic pause. <laughs> A three. He'll start inside of row number two. Your fourth fast qualifier, one of the hottest drivers in the state of Michigan in the recent weeks here, especially at Owasso Speedway. The Taylor Concrete, Burkett Nestor Race Cars number 22, 26 years old from Jackson, Michigan, Aaron Taylor. The one's still in there. The 12 still in there. Some good ones are in there. Of course he's going to run. Now we wait. <laughs> 11. He will start inside of row number six. Your fifth fast qualifier, currently ninth place in the points here in the Valley Truck Center's modified division. One of the most improved drivers in the modified competition here in the Great Lakes State. The Cheater Motorsports, home-built chassis number 62, 33 years old, from Duran, Michigan, Stephen Pelkey. So Stephen Pelkey draws a shirt. All right, where is he going? All right. Stephen Pelkey, what did he draw? Five? Was it five? Five. Inside of row number three for the 62 is Stephen Pelkey. Your sixth fast qualifier, currently second place in the points here at Owasso Speedway with one feature win. The Gaffer Towing and Recovery, How Racing Enterprises, number 93, 25 years old from Owasso, Michigan, Curtis Spencer. Oh, I see how this works. Uh-huh. Okay, you all are really going to have to yell over there. What was it? Yeah. Number one. He'll start on the pole of the ninth running of the Hot Shoe 100. Yeah. 
your seventh fast qualifier. Aboard the Fox Auto Parts, home-built chassis number 16. Young man just 19 years old from Davidson, Michigan. Welcome, Scotty Lamp. There's a few low numbers left, but there's an awful lot of high numbers left. Of course, the youngest driver, fully, goes the shortest distance. So we await Scotty Lamp's fate. It's under the grandstands. <laughs> Is that a penalty? Way to go, Scotty. Yeah. Hey, Scotty. Bud Gray, the third, said you have to start a lap down now. <laughs> so we await the fate of Scotty Lamp. <laughs> All right, we're getting it. We're eventually getting it. Ten. Scotty Lamp will start outside of row number five. Your eighth fast qualifier is a two time Hot Shoe 100 winner. He's a feature winner this season here at Owasso Speedway. The Rush RV, Howe Racing Enterprises, number 57, 24 years old, from Mortonville, Michigan, Blake Rowe. <laughs> now Blake will decide his fate. There is one low number left. Oh, man. Uh-huh. I am not going to have to go to Planet Fitness this week. So we await the fate of Blake Rowe. Number two, Blake Rowe will start outside of row number one. Your ninth fast qualifier is the youngest driver on the property in the modifieds. Rookie points leader, nearby Birch Run Speedway. The inline two, Birkin Nestor Race Cars number 13. He is just 14 years old from Romeo, Michigan. Please welcome Austin Crota. If you run, I'm tripping you. <laughs> oh. Now I got to go chase it. Mad rush. Austin Kreito awaits his fate. Be smarter than the shirt. We're kidding. Well, it's six or nine. Which one is it? Number six. That is number six for Austin Kreida. He'll start outside of row number three. Start your 10th fast qualifier. Three-time track champion up north in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, Kinross Speed Park. The Preston 
Northern Excavating, Howell Race Enterprises number 17, 46 years old from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Welcome Todd Jackson. Seven, nine, and 12 are left. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> this way, this way, I don't have to go to plan. All right, I'm coming with you. All right, we're going, all going. All right, here we go. If you fall, Todd, I'll be okay. How far are you going? I don't know if the mic can work. I don't know if the mic's gonna work. How far are you? I'm not sure if the mic works or not. I guess it does. All right. Well, hang around here for a second. It went over the back. It went over the back. Someone's gonna have to go get that. It, it went over the back. <laughs> Stand by. I know. Dramatic pause. Seven. So Todd Jackson will start inside of row number four. Your 11th fast qualifier has had a good season this year at Bertrand Speedway. The Showcase Auto Sales, Burkett Nestor Race Cars number 12, 35 years old from Clyde, Michigan. This is Nick Lakota. Todd Jackson got a seven. Twelve and nine are left. He's going in the crowd. In the flag stand. All right. All right, so where'd it go? Over there? <laughs> Waiting for the number? 12. Nick Lakota in the 12 will start in the 12th position outside of row number six. One spot left. Another one of the Buckeye State Invaders, the McIntosh Oil, Burke and Nestor Race Cars, number 31, 48 years old from North Canton, Ohio, Doug Meyer. We know what the number's going to be, but we're going to make it official. There's only one left. Did that go over? <laughs> oh, he got it? Thank God. We know what the number is. We're going to make it official. It is officially the number nine. So Doug Meyer will start out inside of row number five. Race fans, from your seats, get your cell phones out. This is the class photo for the ninth running of the Hot Shoe 100.
Race fans, these are the 24 best modified drivers in the country. Give them a nice round of applause. They're ready to go 100 laps. It's just a matter of moments. And now the words we've been waiting to hear. Drivers, to your cars, please. Drivers, to your cars, please. As they get to the cars, we'll re recap the starting lineup. Starting on the pole, the 93 of Curtis Spencer alongside the 57 of Blake Rowe. Inside of row number two, the 70 of Matt Dimon alongside your Burger Nesta Race Cars Fast Qualifier, the 37 of Trevor Berry. Inside of row number three, the 62 of Stephen Pelkey alongside him, the youngest driver in the, in the field, the 14-year-old Austin Kreita in the number 13. Inside of row number four, the number, the number 17 of Todd Jackson will start seventh alongside him. The number seven of Josh Ware will go outside of row number four. Inside of row number five, one of the Buckeye State Invaders, Doug Meyer, and the 31 will start ninth alongside him. The number 16, that is 19-year-old Scotty Lamp. And the sixth row, inside of row number six in the 11th position, the 22 of Aaron Taylor. Alongside him, the number 12 of Nick Lakota. That is your field for the ninth running of the Hot Shoe 100. So as the drivers are getting strapped in, the stage is being moved. Get your 50-50 tickets out. Get those 50-50 tickets out. We got two prizes. One for the cash. How much? For $3,279 is the top prize. Second prize. A week-long pass to the 55th running of the Wheeler Trucking International 500 Snowmobile Race Week presented by Owasso Speedway. It's only appropriate that Bud Gray to third draws our 50-50. And Rick Federo will draw for the I-500 passes. Rick Federo don't go nowhere. $3,279. If that's you, come right down here to the front stretch to claim your money. Ticket number 392294. 392294 for $3,279. Nobody screamed. Well, you got to have the ticket to scream. Come on now. And while we're waiting on that, Rick Federo, draw the two free passes for the 55th running of the Wheeler Trucking International 500 Snowmobile Race Week presented by Owasso Speedway. For those passes, 389-917. That's 389-917. If you have any of those tickets, come down and claim your prize. For the money, 392-294. That's 392-294. And for the I-500 passes, 389-917. If those are your tickets, come down to the front stretch right now to claim your prize. Someone's coming. The money or the passes? You got the passes. Three eight nine nine one seven. That's you. What's your name? Where are you from? Christina, from Brant, Michigan. So Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan's not too far of a trip, is it? Brant. Well, you're, you'll be going to Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. All right. Congratulations for the, for the passes. Still waiting on the money. Three nine two two nine four. That's three nine two two nine four. This is a lot of money. Three thousand two hundred and seventy nine dollars. Check your tickets, Rick. <laughs> if we don't get up, if you don't get it right away, we'll send you over to the raffle tables to claim your prize. Let's read that number one more time. Three nine two. 294. That's 392 294. If you have that ticket, meet Amy Gray at the Gray family raffle table.
So drivers getting final instructions before we get going here for the ninth running of the Hot Shoe 100. All the drivers getting strapped in. As soon as we get the word, we're going to need your guys' help. Everyone's clear. Everyone's ready. Who's ready for one of the one of the four crown jewels of modified racing in the country? Come on. I know Owasso Speedway fans. I know how loud you can get. Who's ready for the Hot Shoe 100? With the most famous words in motorsports from the chairman of the board of the I-500, Rick Federo. He needs your help. Let's count them off. Five, four, three, two, one. Gentlemen, start your engines. We're ready to go. 100 laps. This is the ninth running of the Hot Shoe 100 here at Owasso Speedway. Appreciate everyone tuning in on Pit Road TV via Speed Sport TV as we get set to go. My name is Matt Preer from the Performance Racing Network alongside the co-boys of Owasso Speedway, Mr. Chris Foby. Man, what a front row. Curtis Spencer and Blake Rowe. Yeah, that is a, that's a pretty steep redraw there. They're putting two of the very best on the front row. And... We still got uh, 10 other great ones within that uh, within that invert. They got 100 laps to get there. So let's review your starting lap, starting on the pole. From Owasso, Michigan, the 93, at Curtis Spencer alongside him. From Ortonville, Michigan, the 57, at Blake Rowe. Inside our row number two, from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the 70, at Matt Dimmon, alongside from Kyle, Michigan, your Birkin Nestle Race Cars fast qualifier, the 37, at Trevor Berry. Inside our row number three, from Duran, Michigan, the 62, of Stephen Pelkey alongside him. The 14-year-old from Romeo, Michigan, the number 13 of Austin Kreita. Inside of row number four, from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, the 17 of Todd Jackson, alongside him from Barbo, Michigan, both of the Michigan's Upper Peninsula, the number seven of Josh Ware. Inside of row number five, from North Canton, Ohio, the 31 of Doug Meyer, alongside him from Davidson, Michigan, the number 16, 19-year-old Scotty Lamp. Inside of row number six, from Jackson, Michigan, the 22 of Aaron Taylor, alongside him from Clown, Michigan, the number 12 of Nick Lakota. Inside of row number three, the 24 from Petoskey, Michigan. That's Buddy Gray alongside him from Vanderbilt, Michigan, both in the northern lower peninsula. The number one, Jeremy Jaraneski. Inside of row number eight from Howell, Michigan, the 05. A Greg Fullerton alongside him from Midland, Michigan, the 78, Travis Setti. Inside of row number nine from Lansing, Michigan, the number 20, Tim Lahar alongside him from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada. The number three of BJ Marcou. Inside of row number 10 from Bremen, Indiana, the 68 of J.J. Schaefer, alongside him from Maslin, Ohio, the 02 of Rick Sibola. Inside of row number 11 from Clown, Michigan, the 21, Nick Clemens, alongside from Owen, Michigan, the 3, Alex Donard. Damian Lyle from Langsburg in the 589, Jeff Gannis from Constantine in the 5. Race fans, what we want you to do is we want you to get up. We want you to stand up. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. This is the main event of the evening.
Washington, Florida is Ryan Warning. Your chief starter on the flag stand from Angola, Indiana is Mr. Wheel Schwer. And alongside Lansing, Michigan's Chris Foley. My name is Matt Preer from Westerville, Ohio. It is an honor and a privilege to bring you the ninth running of the Hot Shoe 100 from o Owasso Speedway in Ovid, Michigan. Huge thanks to everyone tuning in live on Pit Row TV via Speedsport TV's live broadcast of one of the four crown jewels of modified racing in the country. White flags out, we're going green the next time by. Curtis Spencer, Blake Rowe, row number one. Matt Dimmitt, Trevor Berry, row number two. Stephen Pelkey, Austin Kreider, row number three. Todd Jackson, Josh Ware, row number four. Doug Meyer, Scotty Lamp, row number five. Aaron Taylor, Nick Lakota, row number six. Curtis Spencer, Blake Rowe leads him on a turn three and four. Chief starter, Wheel Schwer, has got the green flag in hand. And we're back at it in the big O. And welcome in to those tuning in on the special free for the first 20 laps of the ninth running of the Hot Shoe 100. How about that free 99 to get us underway? And it is Blake Rowe leading the opening circuit here in the ninth running of the Hot Shoe 100. He's a two-time winner trying to make it lucky number three here tonight. Rowe has a knack for winning the Hot Shoe 100 in the first visit by the event to a racetrack. He did it in 2019 at McKinross Speed Park. And then in 2021, the first appearance at Springport Mid Michigan Speedway. He'd love to do it here again in Owasso Speedway. And it happens every two years, so the numbers check out. Well, we're uh, on track for another good one here. Right now, the battle is on for third. The 93 of Curtis Spencer trying to hold off Matt Dimmitt in that number 70. That team has had a world of struggles all season long getting that 70 car dialed in. They hooked up with Matt Dimmitt. Matt's really put a lot of time and energy into this car, getting it right. And it looks like tonight they might have hit on something. He absolutely has. Former Auto Value Super Sprint competitor Dennis Kraft buying this car from Bergen Nestor Race Cars. It's a former Bergen Nestor Race Cars house car from the 2019 season. Kraft started the first three races in a Midwest Modified Tour, powered by Wheeler Trucking, and then decided at the downright awesome race on June the 3rd to put Dimmitt in it. And he's been rewarded so far, and here comes Dimmitt. Working on the back bumper of Curtis Spencer. They go into turns three and four. Blake Rowe continues to show the way. Six laps completed, 94 laps to go. Curtis Spencer second. Then you got Matt Dimmitt in third. Steven Pelkey, good run for him so far in fourth. While your Burkett Nestor race car, fast qualifier in that DT performance, number 37, Trevor Berry in fifth. That 62 is Stephen Pelkey, one to keep an eye on. That's basically a home-built chassis they put a lot of energy into. They've got it really dialed in here at the Owasso Speedway. What they did, talking to Stephen Pelkey and the Pelkey Racing Team, did now rebranded the Cheater Motorsports entry. They took an old wind pusher chassis and cut it into pieces, and they rebuilt it from the ground up. They only kept a little bit of the center section. The bottom half of the center section is all they kept of the race car. Everything else, home build at Cheater Motorsports. Well, that is 100% on brand for the Pelkies. Steven's dad, Steve, a legendary tinkerer here at the Owasso Speedway for several years. He passed away a couple years ago, and Steven would uh, love to take the victory with his dad watching over him from above. Very quickly, 10 laps completed, 90 laps to go. Blake Rowe, your race leader in the 57. Curtis Spencer riding second to 93. Matt Dimmon in third spot in the 70. Stephen Pelkey, as we previously mentioned, in fourth spot in the 62. Trevor Berry running in the top five. Then you've got a train coming into town, a turn number four, led by Todd Jackson in the 17 with fellow Upper Peninsula native Josh Ware in the seven. Yeah, right now it's kind of looking like Jackson might be the cork in the bottle as uh, Josh Ware trying to find a way around the 17. And Doug Meyer in the 31, tagging in there. He, uh, a big name in modified racing, hasn't done much up here at the Owasso Speedway in years past, if memory serves me correct, but Doug Meyer is a very fast car. He's a very good competitor, former track champion of Lorraine Raceway Park outside of Cleveland in Elyria, Ohio, also a former champion at the Midvale Speedway in New Philadelphia, Ohio the southeast corner of the Buckeye State as he watches that battle between the two Upper Peninsula of Michigan veterans. Josh Ware in the seventh, and then Ware giving Todd Jackson a little bump going into turn number four. Yeah, that was a, a little trepidatious by Josh Ware. Gave Jackson the shove, but backed it off a little bit, gave him some room to gather it back up as Scotty Lamp now makes a move on the 31 of Doug Meyer. Oh, they make contact. Looks like everyone's gonna be able to continue. Oh, oh. Buddy Gray ramped over the back of somebody, but 
We're going to keep going. Usually the cars don't run as well after they're airborne. And Scotty Lamb's going to head off in the 16. Suspension damage on that Fox Auto Parts number 16. Tough break for that silver and red so car of Scotty Lamb. He'll head pit side. Patience may be starting to wear thin in that battle between Jackson and Ware. Over in turn number four that last lap, Matt, Ware gave Jackson a big shove coming off of turn four. Upset the 17, but he did not make the move yet. And you're watching the trio of black cars heading into turns one and two. The black number 17, the 17 ball, if you will, of Todd Jackson. The black number seven of Josh Ware, both from the Upper Peninsula in the state of Michigan. Another black car. North Canton, Ohio's Doug Meyer. That is a great battle for 6th, 7th, and 8th. Just behind them, Aaron Taylor in the 22 is running 9. Travis Eddy is started in 16th. He is already up in 10th. And Eddy Performance Solutions, number 78. Yeah, it's been a joke going for a while that Travis is semi-retired. He's been, uh, he's been the brains behind a lot of top-running modified cars, though. He knows what he's doing out there but he lacks some wheel time in recent years. Well, we, we gave you the first 20 laps for free on Pit Road TV and Hot Shoe 100's Facebook pages. Well, the 20 laps are up. You want to watch the rest of this race? Go to pitroad.tv and watch the exciting conclusion of the ninth running of the Hot Shoe 100. Back to the action. Blake Rowe continues to show the way. About to approach the back of the lead pack cars, beginning with the number three of Alex Donard. And just a lap ago, 